Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about menopausal skin and some hacks that could really help you navigate this kind of tricky time. Estrogen and progesterone have stopped producing and for five years you really go through some significant changes. So let's break it down. As you approach menopause, there's the stage of perimenopause, which that is when you start to see some of these changes occurring, right? Disrupted sleep, maybe a little bit of weight gain, some mood changes. Some people ease right through. Some experience a lot of hot flashes. But once you enter into menopause and those five years of time, you can lose up to 30% of your collagen production, which is a really big deal. Once that happens, that's when you really start to see thinning skin, skin wrinkles, wrinkling and loss of elasticity. And one of the things I want to talk about first, because everybody always assumes that SPF and sunscreen, right, sun protection, is just to ward off skin cancer and sun damage and pigmentation. Yes, that is all true. Some of the very reasons that you should be wearing sunscreen daily, all year round. But another reason is when you're not wearing sun protection, your skin has to use a lot of its abilities to fight off those UV rays, those damaging rays. When you're wearing sun protection and it can focus elsewhere, that's when it can start to have repairing regenerative abilities that help with the loss of collagen. So your SPF is a game changer. You really want to make sure that all year long you are wearing that. Another topical that you could apply that really helps with these five years of time, as we're losing this collagen, as we need to increase that cellular turnover, retinols will be your best friend, I promise. And there's all different kinds of retinols. I'll link some here. You can find retinols that are great for even the most sensitive skin types. It, you don't have to start off with just prescription form. There are many kinds now. They have really reformulated and adjusted the way that they look and manufacture retinols. So there's one for everybody. I promise you. And retinols, again, they increase cellular turnover. If you can increase the cellular turnover, you're really helping to work on that collagen. So find one in the link below, reach out to me on Instagram. I do consults and we can find the right one for you if you don't have one already. And while we're still on the topic of collagen, so not just menopause, right? We lose 30%, up to 30% of our collagen production, but we stop producing collagen in our late 20s. So if you can start taking a collagen supplement, preferably one with hyaluronic acid, like I take, I take the one from Modere. I'll put the link here below. You can get $10 off your first order. That has been a game changer for me. The way that it has shown up for me, it started when I was in perimenopause, but I has, I've been experiencing joint pain since my early 20s. And during my changes during perimenopause, I was starting to have thinning of my hair, which is another thing that happens, hair loss, hair thinning. And when you have an ample supply of collagen, right, that eases all that. It helps with our skin. It helps keep our hair thick and healthy, helps with joint lubrication. So with these changes in our body occurring, sleep patterns start to become unregulated. So I used to be a sound sleeper. I would sleep straight through, deep sleeper, and then everything changed for me until I started taking bioidentical hormones. But what really helped before I started taking those was melatonin and magnesium. There's also CBD, CBD oils, all things like that. You could come up with beautiful rituals, pillow sprays, all kinds of things. But Magnesium and melatonin were really helpful. Everything can regulate the way that it needs to and function properly when you're getting enough sleep. And last but not least is exercise, some sort of movement, mindfulness practice, self-care right? All those fall underneath the umbrella of self-care. I'm not sure I would have been able to get through this wacky time without all of those. Your body needs to move. I'm always thinking about longevity, not just menopausal years, but to really have a good practice keeps you in it for the long haul and balances you more than you ever would think. And water intake, that's just a given, no matter what stage of life. So I hope this helps. I'll list all the products here that have been tremendous for me during this, this stage. Retinols, SPFs, peptides, all the things. But keep following me and let me know what questions you have or what you want to see next.